Violence against women is one of the most widespread human rights abuses, affecting one in three women worldwide. My name's Wumi Masaku. I recently travelled with ActionAid to the Upper West region of Ghana, one of the poorest parts of the country and where intimate partner violence is common. I wanted to see for myself how the charity support women and girls to be educated and empowered to own their rights to their bodies and lives. As I arrived in the Gabari community, I was welcomed by the ActionAid Women's Group, a safe space for women to share the issues they face and access support and advice. Genevieve's struggles were so visible to see. She revealed her husband would abuse her, but how impossible it was for her to leave. <laughs> Action Aid have supported Genevieve and although the violence has stopped, she still shares a home with her husband because she has nowhere to go. Working in the school gives her hope and she sees education as key to unlock the potential of a future generation of girls. ActionAid Combat Squads are community-based anti-violence teams who work with women and men to stop violence. They support women to claim their rights and access justice for the violence perpetrated against them. Vida is a survivor and works for the Combat Squad in her community. She tells me how it's changed her life and that of women within the community. <laughs> Like commander, but she be capo in Portava and Bada Bada Combom Benibana Manda by Yala Atana. Poor on a banga to yellow queer door, Chadok, Combom will let Onana do yellow to bin car a song a co. And say, and I'm poor combat poor a poor member, poor Pelea, to you on Teramantism, I yell to yellow, Cadoza, but she be. Marciana is a teacher in the local school and part of combat. Oh, there is a lot of changes. When men used to beat their wife, every night you will be hearing crying, crying, but now you will never hear anything because of several sensitization for the men that if you beat your woman, there is a place they will send you to. So now they have reduced. They also know that women too, they are having rights. She said before Action Aid, she couldn't find her voice. It was amazing to hear her full of hope for the future of women and girls. I want the boy, girls to be better than them. <laughs> because you see how our mothers are suffering mm. because of violence. If the girls are better than boys in future, the boys will come down for them so that the whole world will be peace. Mm. peaceful. One of the big issues in this part of Ghana is child marriage. Action Aid has girls clubs in schools through plays and songs, girls learn about their rights and the importance of staying in school. As my time in Ghana came to a close, I was inspired to meet the passionate activists from the Young Urban Women's Movement. Fearless young women who are joining their voices to campaign and advocate for women's access to justice, work and a future with choice. Life is hard for the women I met in Ghana but I was able to see hope. Stand in solidarity with women and girls to raise their voices and access justice for their bodies and lives.